Hello and welcome to Equistech's configuration video. This video shows how to configure the DL3500 DF1 to DH Plus unit. First start the DL32 configuration software. To select the DL3500 model, click on the DL3500 models. Click on Yes if the serial number is greater than 35,000. Under the DL3500 models, click on DF1 to DH plus slash DH485 1770 KF2 slash KF3 button. Now you need to select the serial port that is connected to your PC. To do so, click on the little arrow where it says None. It will show all the port numbers. Click on the one that is connected from the DL3500 serial side to your PC. One thing to check before configuring the DL3500 is to check that you have the latest firm, firmware version installed on your unit. To do that, click on the DL Offline Manager button. It will ask you to press a configuration button on the DL3500. Press the button on the right hand side of the unit and make sure the LEDs are channel A red, channel B off, and channel C red. It should come up with a menu with options 1 through 7. Select option 6 by typing 6 followed by enter. It should show the firmware version as you see it here. Now click on return to main menu button to go back to the main configuration menu. Click on configure open file button. Under operating mode select DF1 via USB slash serial to DH plus. Then under DH plus network parameters select AB DH plus. Later to select the node address number which the DL3500 will occupy on the DH plus network click on the little arrow to see the selections which are from 0 to 77 octal. Select the desired node address number and again keep in mind it is in octal and it should not be a duplicate which means no other node on that same DH plus network can have the same node address number. Next is the DH plus baud rate. As you can see it here it says network speed click on the little arrow. Here it shows you that you can choose 57.6, 115.2 and 230.4. Select the appropriate one that the DL3500 is going to be connected to. Now that you are done with the DH plus parameters you will set the DF1 side. First you will select the serial baud rate. This needs to be the same baud rate as the DF1 device is going to be connected to the DL3500 serial side. You can select from 300 baud all the way to 115.2 kbaud. Second, click on the set change serial parameters. As you can see it will come with another window to set the parity, data bits, stop bits, handshaking. And the last one, the serial connection, you select the way you're connecting the serial side to the DL3500. Choose the RS-232 if you're connecting through the DB9 pin connector or the USB connector. Choose the RS-422-485 if you're connecting through the 5 pin connector. See on the RS-422-485 that you choose the 4 wire for the 422 and the 2 wire for the RS-485. Again, all these settings need to match the DF1 serial device settings. Once these settings are done, click on Accept. One last important section for setting the DF1 side is the Advanced DF1 Protocol setting. When you click on that button, another window opens. Here you will be able to set the message error checking method, BCC or CRC. Duplicate message, ignore or accept. Embedded responses, none or execute. Diagnostics Execute or Pass. Most cases you'll use the Execute except when connecting the DL3500 DF1 side to a PLC or an SLC or any other processor that you need to pass a diagnostic to it. Also on the Pass Diagnostics when using the half duplex. Now that you have the DF1 channel configuration set the way you're communicating on the DF1 side, whether it is point to point, full duplex, or multi-drop, half duplex, uh, on click accept. Once all the settings are set you click on download to DL button. It will ask to press the configuration button to do, do so and make sure the LEDs are channel A red, 
channel B off, channel C red, and click OK. Then you should see the message to press the reset button to put the unit online. And also you can see the AOK transmission received by Datalink. This procedure completes the DL3500 DF1 DH Plus configuration.